Hi, here is a strategy you can use to flip accounts, for, for example, trading at $10 and $300. So this strategy is really simple and it's good for flipping accounts. But remember that flipping accounts is risky, so you either win or lose. So only flip accounts if you're willing to lose the entire money. And if you're not, try some other strategies. Okay, so with this strategy I'm about to show you, okay, it does work and sometimes it might not work. So such a case where it works to be able like to flip small amounts of money into bigger amounts of money like turning at ten dollars into a hundred dollars so without wasting of your time let's begin so the indicators which we're going to be using today are actually three so the parameters for these indicators are actually in the description so the first line you're seeing in the chart is actually the green okay it is a moving average and in the indicator window one is actually two indicators which is the rate of strength index and the average true range. So in this case, okay, to make some quick money fast, okay, what you're going to be doing is that you're going to be selling or you're going to be trading against spikes. So this way you'll be able to make some quick money easily, okay, if spikes will be there. So this strategy might not be easy to follow, but it is something you can try, okay. So with this strategy, like, okay, you buy or you sell after a spike, okay? I know you might be aware, like, selling whenever there's a spike is not a good idea, but with this strategy, with the indicators combined, it will help you know when best to enter a trade and when best to exit. So this strategy will give you both the entry, the take profit, and the stop loss, all right, which is perfect. So let's begin. So what you need to do is that, for example, if we need to sell, first of all, I forgot to talk about one thing, okay? So, as I said earlier on, that, let me grab a pin. So, this is boom 1000. So, if you are talking against spikes, then it means that to be selling. So, I said that you sell after a spike. So, in such a case, you are supposed to, I was supposed to sell at this point. Why was I supposed to sell at this point? Is because the relative strength index and the versus the average true range are above the 75. So, okay, so when both of these lines are above the 75, okay, you can sell. And when you close the trade, so you close the trade when this moving average actually crosses the candles. So at this point, this is the point where you're supposed to close the trade. So let's look for another good examples or good entries. But the thing I forgot to talk about is the zoom level. So the third zoom level is perfect for this strategy. Okay. Okay, so let us say here. Here as we can see there's a spike, right? But the relative strength index and the average true range were not above 75. And so he wouldn't enter into a trade. And after some, after just like, okay, after some few candles, there were now there was now a big spike. Okay, so how about now? Would you enter a trade? Yes, you would enter a trade because, okay, both of these lines are above seventy-five. Okay, and let us see if a trade would have been profitable. Okay, yeah, it would have been profitable because we would have closed here where the moving average is actually crossing the candles so let's look for another perfect entry okay here's another en entry but as you can see only one line is above 75 so here we would have entered the trade but if you are really good at risking you would have but to make things simpler and easier entering a trade here is not advisable because both of these lines are not above the 75 okay but still would have made profit if you did Let's look for another perfect example. So another perfect example is here. Both of these lines are above the 75. And let us say enter the trade. Yeah, we'd have closed the trade here and we'd have made profit. Okay. Here, after the spike, no, you wouldn't have entered the trade because not all these lines are above 75. So not a good entry. So how about... Uh, how about here? Here you can see, okay, the yellow line is not above 75. Actually, both lines are not above 75, so not a good entry. 
how about here after this long after this spike here so as you can see here okay both of the lines above 75 so if you enter the trade it would have crossed here so this is actually a good strategy for flipping accounts so try it out and try to triple or even double your money it will work for you so let me know how it's going to work with you in the comment section so don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe for more videos like this bye for now